Go, 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 go. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. You join us here on a beautiful morning to run. It's definitely springtime, the bluebells are out everywhere. It is beautiful. Today, we are gonna be talking about the Fur Nations. The Fur Nations is a three event canny cross race between England, Scotland and Wales. Members from each country compete in their class over a variety of different races. One event in each country over each of the spring bank holidays in the UK. So they'd already done the Welsh leg in Pembury at Easter when we were at Canning Cross Midlands. We headed to the English leg, which was at Cannock Chase. And they've still got the Scottish leg at Glam's Castle to finish the whole thing off. So it's a completely inclusive competition. Uh, it's for anyone to run. You just select the nation that you want to run for. Uh, whether that's where you live, where you're born, or any other feeling of affinity to that country. Me and Dizzy were racing for Scotland. Don't let my southern accent fool you. My family are from Aberdeen. <laughs> So let's talk about the start. It was absolute chaos. Uh, it was a wave start, which meant all the runners were divided into about seven mini mass starts. And we were right up the front in wave one amongst some of the fastest teams in the country. It was absolutely nuts. <laughs> Ready, Dizzy? Go, 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 go! Yep, go, 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 go! Good boy, yep, 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 yep! Go, 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 go! I would point out, when you watch some of the other waves go, they were nowhere near as mad as our wave. Much more civilised, much better behaved. In the race video, I actually talked about the slight incident uh, that you saw in our start, uh, which was actually dealt with very, very quickly. The owner pulled his dog in very quickly. Um, but as I said, the positive thing was that the next day, because that dog got so overwhelmed on the mass start and he had no idea that was gonna happen, uh, they facilitated him with an individual start and they had a much smoother and more enjoyable race, which is great. But let's talk about Dizzy at that start. That was the first time we've ever done a start like that. We've done some big mass starts, but it's all chip timed. So it doesn't really matter where you cross the line. So you can still kind of hang back and make up time. And obviously we've done loads of individual starts. We've been working really hard at them, but Dizzy absolutely smashed it. Not distracted by anything. Ran straight and fast, wagging his tail.
given that knowledge now, next time we're in one of those situations, I would definitely get onto the tail of one of the really fast ones and see what we can do. It was chaotic, but it was great fun and brought some really good racing tactics into the game as well, being a straight foot race rather than a time trial. the course really fun really tough so the start obviously you've been mass start as well with a big wide gun barrel straight 500 meter long sprint cannon chase is an old raf base uh, so i assume that was probably one of the runways after that we hit a really really gravelly and another really long steep downhill for us that was not good dizzy won't run on the gravel but the saving grace for it was that everyone else was trying to get their dogs to ease off so that we didn't cause any injuries going down the hills so they were secretly envious of dizzy running to heal um, and it also meant they didn't get too far away from us they didn't run off into the distance. After you got to the bottom of that hill, then came to a really, really technical bit of woodland, which was really fun to run, but oh my word, it was hard. Undulating would be the term, but they were steep undulations. <laughs> Once you got through that technical bit, which really, because the ground was soft and all those undulations, really sort of took your legs away a bit. And then it was time to take your lungs away. We had to go back up that hill, which was brutal. But once we got to the top of it, it flattened out because Canuck's kind of a plateau. You start and end at the top. So for the last kilometre and a bit, of course it was longer than 5k, it was flat and grassy, which really suited us. So we could fly again. And we actually caught up with everyone who'd run away from us on the downhill and in the woods. And then it was a sprint finish to home. Speaking of sprint finishes.
we have it. What a lovely spring morning for a run. So we managed to cross the line in 21 and a half minutes, which was good enough to get us gold medal, first place for Scotland. So yeah, super fun course, super challenging. Um, but we we're really, really pleased with that time uh, and that position. That was uh, the most competitive field we've ever run with and started with. Some of the fastest teams in the country. So yeah, super proud of that. The Fair Nations, there is one more round at Glam's Castle on the next bank holiday weekend. So if you think you might be up for it, then definitely check out the Canucks website, which is in the link below. It's a really, really great event. Always really well organized, really competitive. Um, but equally, it's not all about finishing first and the times that you run. There were people running that 5K course in 40 minutes uh, and just having a great time. So it's definitely something for everyone. Uh, and you can feel a little sense of national pride while you do it. I think all the racing is done now. So we're going to move into our summer running, running for fun program. We've still got lots of cool content coming up for you. Lots of summer runs, lots of challenges, lots of tips. So stay tuned and me and Dizzy will see you on the next one. <laughs>